we unveiled a new symbol signifying our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. It is important to remember that while we, we revere Joseph Smith as a prophet of God, this is not the church of Joseph Smith, nor is it the church of Mormon. This is the church of Jesus Christ. He decried exactly what his church should be called. Quote, For thus shall my church be called in the last days, even the church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Close quote. Travis Wayne Goodsell, Joseph Smith History, verse 16. <clears throat> Saw a pillar of light exactly over my head above the brightness of the sun. This is the Egyptian god Amun, Father Amun, Son Amun, in the learning of the Egyptians. The learning of the Jews is the learning of the Jewish mystics, and I do not have time to go into full explanation. You need to have the prerequisite knowledge from my previous videos. So verse 19, I was answered that I must join none of them no christian church for they were all wrong and amen who addressed me said that all their creeds were an abomination the first creed of christianity is the nicene creed in which constantine created the name jesus as god the Gospels were apocalyptic literature. They were other books of revelation. And Constantine changed them into literal history and made Jesus the name of the God, the Christ, and made him an unreal being with hamuzion, which means not real. It was a made up word, it does not exist. Anybody who claims they've got it all figured out, they don't. It doesn't exist. This is the great and abominable church. And so, when we go to the Book of Mormon, 1st Nephi, chapter 13, 9th Templar, Friday the 13th, though it's Friday the 27th, I digress, don't have time. <clears throat> After talking about the settlers from the old world into the promised land, the angel says unto Nephi in his vision, as he's a Pisces baby born 23rd September 2017, prerequisites, behold the formation of a church which is most abominable. A second great and abominable church an abominable church for the latter days and so yes it goes into great detail they will be filthy rich they will have dominion over all the earth and within it will be the true church of the lamb from which the man like Moses will come in 2nd Nephi we get Isaiah quotes and 2nd Nephi 24 12 how art thou fallen from heaven O Lucifer son of the morning this is an indication that this is not from the ancient records that this the Book of Mormon is apocalyptic literature because this was put in Lucifer was put in in the uh, Vulgate 400 CE approximately and so the sign of Lucifer is the inverted pentagram so you're looking for that church with the inverted pentagram and the name of that church Joseph Smith gave a prophecy on April 26 1838 at far west Missouri in which he said for thus shall verb tense means future my church be called in the last days 
the great and abominable church will take over Joseph Smith's church. Even the church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. They will frame Joseph Smith. <clears throat> and will seek to destroy Christianity. Notice Evangelicals. 1923, Heber J. Grant reincorporated the church after the United States shut it down for all of its crimes and became evangelical Christians with Jesus Christ still using Joseph Smith's scriptures but changing them taking away the plain and precious parts of Joseph Smith's scriptures to destroy Christianity and have Lucifer's church after the millennium, or in the millennium.